What does physiotherapy mean to you? Awesome, here are some words that we've found that describe the profession. Physical therapists help people improve or maintain functional independence and physical performance, prevent and manage pain, physical impairments, disabilities, and limits to participation, as well as promote fitness, health, and wellness. The physical therapy program at the U of A is a 28-month year-round master's program. It is an entry-level program with the highest admission rate of 110 students per year. U of A offers the physiotherapy program at three different campuses around Alberta, with those campuses being located in Edmonton, Camrose, and Calgary. All students will graduate as physiotherapist generalists without any specializations. Our presentation touches on the physiotherapy roles of maintaining function and physical performance, addressing physical impairments, as well as give some ideas for prevention methods. Enjoy. Rotator cuff injuries are quite common in volleyball, as you saw in our video earlier. Uh, physios play a big role in shoulder injuries because of the amount of injuries that can happen. Um, the arm is connected to the trunk by the shoulder, so that leaves a lot of room for pinching, tears, um, poor movement. So we do a lot of work to look at the whole area to make it better. Here I have some tape on Jess in order to cue the muscle and kind of position the shoulder in the place I want it to while she does her exercises. We don't want to rely on tape, but we can use it to um, educate and kind of give some feedback. So go ahead and give me some of those exercises we talked about. You can leave the tape on while you exercise to give that feedback. volleyball, physios can help with all of these things. Today we have Sierra who has a stress fracture, so one of the things we can do is work on strengthening. Here I'm going to give her a little dumbbell, and we can teach her all about the proper positioning that she can do to strengthen those muscles. We can work on the wrist extensors on the back of the arm, and we can also work on strengthening the muscles on the radial side, so right here along the thumb, and on the ulnar side. And if you flip your arm over, Sarah, we can also work on the forearm wrist flexors. With all of these exercises, we can use lots of different strengthening types. And when it gets too easy, Sierra. We can also help if you ever get a muscle strain. Throughout the process of a muscle strain, the look of the, what therapy might look like will be very different. At the beginning, though, we really want to focus on decreasing the pain and helping with the swelling and inflammation. So unfortunately, Sierra, for now, you're going to have to stay off the courts. Here's an ice pack for that lovely bruise on your hamstring. But trust me, we won't keep you on the ice for too long. We'll get you back working with lots of different things to get you back playing volleyball. and strength with an exercise that Sierra will demonstrate right now to improve her balance and her knee alignment. We do a lot of things with the surgeons to keep an eye on them. Oh, Sierra, keep that muscle going. In physio, we try to make sure that our exercises and rehab cater to your sport and your interests. Let's go, Sierra. Playing volleyball. 
you, are, you have probably seen some of your teammates wearing an ankle brace. And this is definitely something that we would encourage you to wear on your game day. However, ankle braces aren't so good to keep your muscle strength the whole time. It's very really common for the muscles and the ligaments to get weakened around the joint. So we would make sure that you would come to rehab, we would take off the brace, we would strengthen your ankles so eventually you don't even really need the brace for day-to-day -day activities and only when you're doing high intensity activities like your big volleyball match. We can also do things like joint mobilizations to help increase that range in your ankle and keep it nice and good. Here's an example of a great exercise to strengthen the ankle. And if we want to, we can make it functional. false, can physios treat concussions? And if you've ever experienced a concussion like you just saw here, and you feel any of these signs or symptoms, guess what? Physios can help with that too! Find out more information and connect with us on social media at any of the listed links.